Dan Barber asked, why are we growing this type of wheat when possibly we should be growing a different type of wheat that has a better nutritive value? Uh, Dave Chang said, why are we afraid of using MSG if maybe MSG isn't so bad for us? Um, these, these questions are important. The, the asking why is important. We had questions. We had questions ourselves about why we were cooking a certain way. And might there be a better way? And I believe that the answer is yes, a more informed way of cooking. But it turned out that a lot of these answers are likely not to be found only in the kitchen. We realized we were going to have to go elsewhere for answers because the traditional answers from the kitchen about why we were cooking the way we were were not always satisfactory. Well, so our search has brought us out of the kitchen to events like this to meet equally curious people. It's also forced us to think a bit about what's really involved in cooking, what, what's happening while you're cooking, all these things. What's happening while you're cutting and roasting and boiling and braising and poaching? What are you actually doing? Well, it turns out that it involves a fair bit of science, specifically some physics, some biology, and some chemistry. And so we, we really realized that we were going to have to develop relationships with other people from other disciplines. We were going to have to not only talk to our fellow chefs who were like-minded and curious, but we are going to have to go outside of our industry, talk to food scientists, talk to commer commercial food manufacturers, commercial food processors. We, we realized we'd have to talk to authors. Of course, there's Harold McGee, but then there's, there's Chris Young, the, you know, the brilliant scientist behind the Modernist Cuisine book, but who's, who's been involved in helping chefs for years and years and years. Cesar Vega, some of you here may know Cesar. Cesar knows more about eggs than anybody I've ever met. And, and the beauty of all this information is that, um, that while it's completely objective, but what any one of us chooses to do with that information will always be subjective, meaning there will never be a universal way of cooking, but the information is always going to be universally useful. And, and that's an important thing to realize, that everybody is going to benefit in this way from this information. And understanding why you're doing something is an important aspect of doing it well. If you can know the reasons that you're doing something, you can make really sound decisions. But the individual still plays the most important role in the cooking process. There will never be a right way to poach an egg, but there will always be a more or less informed way to poach an egg.